So how are you students? Today I just have brought again another solution for a complete final exam. So as you see, this is a complete final exam having uh, so many uh, multiple, uh, multiple choice questions. As you see, there are uh, almost 10 uh, different kinds of multiple choice questions and also five different kinds of true-false questions and there are also eight uh, questions in under this uh, fill in the blank item and there are also five different kinds of workout questions so i'm now going to show you all these and i hope this will help you a lot so let's directly go to uh, the solution of each questions so uh, here i begin from the first one it says uh, given you given that P and Q are propositions, then you are asked to find the simplified form of this compound proposition. So what you need to do is you have to use those properties you studied in the classroom in order to know the final output of this compound proposition. So let me show you how this can be done. So the solution goes like this. Look, the negation of P or Q or negation of P and Q or negation of negation of P or negation of Q, it says. So what you need to do is you have to apply those properties you studied before. So the first one, as you see, is you see the property of De Morgan's law. As can be shown here, this is changed to this one because this is negation P and negation Q, as you see. The rest are taken as they are. You see, students? Now look again here. You are having negation P and here also negation P and. So I can now uh, change this in a short uh, for uh, as follow look i just have combined these two negation p negation p i just took negation p as a common out and then i used uh, this conjunction directly the negation q or q uh, uh, is uh, are going to remain so i'm going to have this compound proposition in a bracket so negation of p and negation of q or q is going to come Look, if you, for example, apply the strict property, this is going to be negation of P and negation of Q, as it has been written here, or negation of P and Q can come. So, please be wise, students. Negation P, negation P. So, I took negation P out, and then I am having now end, because it was written twice, so I'm having end here. Now, as I'm taking negation P end from this out and negation P end from this out, the two uh, propositions left over are negation Q and what? Q, having or in between. So that's why I'm having negation Q or Q here. So uh, when you come to the next one, this is directly applying the Morgan's law. Negation, negation makes P, as you see here. And negation, negation makes Q, as can be shown here. Now look, we can obtain this one. But we knew that negation Q or Q is true. You see, whatever truth value you might have for Q could be true or false. This uh, truth value is true. Truth value is true, you see. So negation P and true can come, as it has been stated here. And then or P and Q. And we knew that the truth value of this compound proposition, the first bracket compound proposition, depends on the truth value of negation P. If negation P is false, this compound proposition will have truth value false. And if this is true, it will have a truth value true. So negation P and true, and true is negation P. So it's directly written. And then or P and Q is going to come. Then students, you need to apply distributive property. Now, when you apply distributive property, this negation P or P comes first, and then you use the conjunction. Then negation P or Q follows. Here you have, you see, negation P or P and negation P or Q. And as you know, for a single proposition P, having, having the compound proposition with negation P, having its junction in between, this value is always true. Because if P is true, you don't need to worry about this to, to be true. If P is false, because of this negation, it will be true. So the whole goes to true. So whatever the case, this turns to be true. And then this remains as it is, as you see. And as I explained earlier, this is a, a conjunction uh, in between, so uh, true and any sort of, you see, true pro pro proposition having uh, any truth value will be the truth value of the proposition, so it will be negation P or Q.
So students, if you remember, uh, as we studied in the classroom in the discussion of uh, two equivalent propositions, this negation P or Q and P implies Q, the one written here in D, are equivalent. You can prepare truth table and check. The two are the same. Had you have negation P or Q directly from these alternatives, you could have selected that, but you don't have here. You see, such option is not written, but we knew that negation P or Q is the same as P implies Q. You can prepare a truth table and see uh, whether these two are equivalent or not. You will obtain them being equivalent. So the answer for this is going to be D. The answer for this is going to be D, but later I'm going to apply the concept of this one, P plus Q equals negation P or Q for the other one. Have that into uh, your mind, please. So the answer for this is going to be now uh, D students. Now let's go to the second question. The second question says, consider the open proposition P of X, X is a prime number and D of X, X divides 9. So now you are asked to write the symbolic form of the negation of students. Now here you are asked to find the negation of all prime numbers to not divide 9. So look here you are having x a prime number. Because of this saying all you must use you see the universal quantifier and here prime number it says prime number so obviously p of x is going to come as a hypothesis and then now what follows here is don't divide 9 so this is going to be the negation of what has been written here in d so clearly the negation of d follows so if you directly come to a look if you just observe a a is directly the same as this one what this means you see, it's understood in the following sense. Whatever number you may take, if the number you take is P, that is to say prime, then automatically it doesn't divide 9 because it says negation. So this is actually the same as this saying. But what you are asked here is to determine the negation of uh, this saying. The negation of this saying. Had you been asked to write the symbolic form of the expression inside the inverted comma, you see A would have been the answer. But now you are not asked to find that, rather the negation of it. So we have to negate this one, students. So let you see what's going to happen. Now, as I said earlier, the saying of all prime numbers do not divide 9 is the same as this one. A prime number doesn't divide 9. And this is nothing but it's equivalent to this one. But we are asked to find the negation of this, so we need to put negation here in front. So when you put negation in front, remember students in the classroom, we studied about the relationship between quantifiers. So when you are having negation, this negation turns this to existential quantifier, as it has been stated here. And this negation directly comes in between. And then as I tried to explain earlier, for P implies Q, if you remember a student, I told you that that one was equivalent to negation of P or uh, Q. So clearly now here, negation of P should be taken, as it has been taken here, students. Look, negation of P is taken, or you will take you as it is, that is, negation of D comes as it is. But due to D Morgan's law, students, look, this negation uh, cancels this one, and P can come, and this disjunction turns to conjunction, and this negation negation turns to D. Dear students, just if you look for this one, you can obtain this where? In B, I think, yeah, right, right we are. Look. Here it is in B, you can obtain this one. So the negation of this saying is going to be B. So the answer is going to be B. I hope everything is clear for you.